Welcome to Dribble School, Yardman Gaming Dribble School. I'm going to be splitting this up into chapters. I know some of y'all have already graduated from Dribble School with other teachers on YouTube. Mark that like button, spam up the like button. I don't know I don't hold no secrets from y'all. Anyways, let's get into this video. Let me put on my blue light filter glasses real quick. I can see per perfectly fine without glasses, but what this does right here is it helps not to strain your eyes with electronics. Bullet, you know we don't like to waste time. Jump into the animations real quick and let's show you guys the animations, the dribble moves them that you want to be using. Go scroll over right here so you guys can see it. You want to make sure that you choose a dribble style that is comfortable with you. You see, I have a lot bought. I'm gonna be showing you guys this tutorial with Steve Nash. Actually, I'm gonna go with Kyrie Irving because a lot of y'all like using Quick. These are my other stakes. I'm gonna show you guys how to do everything and this is gonna be fast this is just one of those videos i just don't want to waste y'all time because it takes a lot of time to make and if it takes a lot of time to make i know it takes a lot of time to watch pick up on itself first move is going to be the momentum crab i'll show you guys right now you'll see this in every stage game out there usually this is how people start their combos you see what i'm saying i'm gonna show you guys how to do everything you just seen if you don't already know so to do a momentum you want to hold r2 you see me holding r2 right now if the ball is in your left or right hand, you need to remember that you're gonna use the right stick and you're gonna to go to the opposite hand. So since it's in my right hand, I'm holding R2, I'm flicking the right stick to the opposite hand and right with the left stick, all right? I'm following along with the left stick and going diagonally up that same way, like that. Same thing to go back, right? To do the momentum crab, when you do that moment, momentum, all you're gonna do now, while holding R2, you're gonna keep holding R2, then flick right stick back to the hand that you started. Now that you've had the momentum crab down, you're gonna wanna know how to do this right here, the misdirection. This is what you're gonna see in every stage game, pretty much in one of the combos. Right? Obviously you're gonna do the crab. When you do the crab, like so I crab back, flick the right stick back to the hand you started when you crab. So since I started in the left hand and I crab to the right hand, just flick right stick back to that left hand and then run to the right side. I know it sounds complicated, but trust me, it's not for those that you know are new to dribbling, right? So you wanna do the crab and then once you flick that right stick back to the hand you started with the crab, run out of it. All right, you're holding R2. Let me slow it down for y'all, explain it to y'all a little bit better because a lot of y'all learn with slow motion, right? When you do the momentum and you do the crab, say you're crabbing to the left, right? Use the right stick, go diagonally up right, and with the left stick, go diagonally up left because that's the side you're running to, right? Once again, momentum, and then when you crab, use the right stick, go diagonally up right, and then with the left stick, go diagonally up left because that's the side you're running to. Now, if it's the opposite side, do the opposite thing. This right here, I'm about to show you is a real basic move. I'm not even gonna spend too much time on it because it's so easy, right? This move right here. This move right here is clutch. Every comp guard you see will be doing this move right here, right? It's like the 2K19 step back, right? This is our step back, right? To do this move, all you wanna do, you see the analog, right? On the screen, pay attention. Flick the right stick up and flick the left stick down. simple now watch it with the moves that you just saw me do you see what i'm saying watch this you see what i'm saying you can use it you can speed boost out of it every single time and maybe that would be a nice little speed boost for y'all now showing y'all the combo real quick and full that i just taught you like that you see what i'm saying and boom what i just did right there is a hezzy let me teach you how to do that real quick so to do the hezzy is real simple. You see the ball is in my left hand. All I'm doing is I'm gonna speed boost to that opposite hand, run. You wanna get used to that running animation right there, right? Run, run, and then when you're running, you see I'm running like in an angle, right? When you're running, use the right stick and then just flick it to that same hand you're running in. Like, so since I'm dribbling with the left hand, I'm doing it diagonally to the left. On the right stick since i'm dribbling right hand diagonally to the right right and this move is clutch because guess what now you can hit your combos with it the, the same move i just taught you and you can just repeat it let me show you all the double momentum real quick you already taught you all the momentum right 
you want to go opposite ball hand with both of your sticks but with the left stick you're going to go diagonally up instead of just straight across like that right if you go straight across that's what it's going to give you some weird stuff right stick goes straight across but with the left stick diagonally up and all you're going to do is come back to the same side like that right i'm gonna teach you how to do that glitchy look kobe bryant behind the between the legs too right now everything i just taught you right here everything you can really get busy with that all right this would have been more effective before but you got to deal with what they did right this right here is a glitchy move if you don't care about glitchy dribbling move on i'm gonna show you how to do this move real quick right because coming up the court is gonna be a problem for some of y'all right and you want to be able to trick the defender up right when you're running go between the legs by just flicking the right stick at the opposite hand and when you go between the legs let go of r2 so watch run let go of r2 right since you're going between the legs and it's going to your right hand you want to rotate it back right rotate it back to that clockwise since it's in that right hand right whatever hand you're going in is the direction you want to rotate it in the left direction counterclockwise right because it's in my left hand so i'm rotating it this way right if it's in the right hand rotate it that way something you can do out of it you can hit the hezzy i just taught you how to do the hezzy all right and which you can keep the combo going let me show you I'm gonna show you guys how to do this move right here. I've been doing it a lot lately. You see it right there, boom. That move right there, you can really get busy with it. And you can like, there's so much things you can do out of that move right here. So to do the move, obviously you wanna start the momentum. And then let me show you how to do that move real quick. This move is all about paying attention to what, and the ball is in, all right? So since it, I'm putting it in my right hand, you wanna hold R2. You see me spamming it up right there so you can see it on the screen, right? then you want to flick the right stick diagonally down to the opposite hand like you're going to go behind the back it's like you're doing it behind the back right and then you want to follow with the left stick going diagonally down to the hand you started in and it's going to give you that right there boom like that all right and now with this move right here you can momentum and then you can hit the misdirection even though i mess it up kind of like i show y'all all right so boom boom and keep it going boom boom all right time to get y'all into the chainment type things right that's what they call it now chainment this right here you see that look that little glitchy cross right here this right there now it's gonna take time and for you to get it down when i actually show you how to do it you see even myself i don't like spam it so like it can get a little tricky right but to me this is the best standstill combo right here all right show y'all how to do it real quick so it's kind of like the momentum but instead of going like this you're going to use the right stick right and go diagonally down like in between the legs and with the left stick instead of in the left stick you're actually going to do the same thing as a momentum and it's going to look like this right here see that once you get that move right there, you know you're doing something right. Look for this move. And then when you get that move, now you're gonna spam it. Got it's all about timing with this move, all right? T also said you can do it like this, like going straight across, which it works as you clearly see, right? You can clearly do it like that one too. I go diagonally down with it, as you see on the screen. It's really just preference. You can go side to side like that, right? But I like going diagonally down because it doesn't mess me up with the momentum, right? So that's how you do that. Let me show you once again. You can go straight across like this. Look for this animation, right? Go between the legs to the opposite hand and follow it with the left stick. It's like a little delay to it, right? Boom. I think diagonally down is better to be honest because it's like it won't mess around and give you a momentum like that, right? But for those that like going to the side like that, you see what I'm saying? It can still work, but you just gotta be a little bit more tricky with it like that. So go diagonally down to the opposite hand with the right stick and then follow it with the left stick diagonally up. And once you get the animation, you're gonna spam it back and forth. Get used to the timing, right? What I did is actually to get this down because I didn't know, there was no tutorials out there at first to get it down when I learned it. 
and T didn't drop his tutorial yet. And the way he explained it, I, w I kept doing momentum. Do you see what I'm saying? So I went, I went to the blacktop, dropped the speed down, and I learned it how to do it like that, right? You can do that too. There's no shame in that, man. I've always been like a, a learner on my own time, and it's got me in good places. So don't be, don't be discouraged if you don't learn things fast, man. All right? So it's all about not giving up, right? Anything in life. So that's how you do it right there. Just spam it back and forth. It's all about timing. It took me a while to get it down, but now that I got a hand cam tutorial up, I'm telling y'all like that. You see that? You see the screen? Don't pay attention to me or the, or, or the dribbler right now. Pay attention to the controller. You see how I'm going like this? Boom, 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 boom. Like down, right? Like see this, watch. Down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up down and up down and up right and then you're gonna spam that it's that simple all you're doing is you're going between the legs but when you're going between the legs you're following it in that same direction with the left stick but diagonally up instead of diagonally down so right stick diagonally down left stick diagonally up and you're gonna use both of those and go to the same side pretty much Now, doing that move with the momentum, all you gotta do is the momentum, then do that again, right? Now, there's a nice way you can momentum out of this without even holding R2, right? So you start the move, like you start the momentum and then let go of everything. Hold on, let me show y'all. You see that? I didn't hold R2 when I momentum right there because look, let me just do it right here. Hold on. You see that I didn't hold R2 right there when I crabbed? Because there are certain moves you can do like this. Watch, watch. You don't even need to do the momentum. So once you learn how to get the timing down for this, you'll get that, you know, <laughs> you'll get that momentum down, right? Same thing for the opposite side. Hold on. Boom. Now, my favorite combo to do is this one right here. That one right there. I'm going to show you how to, I already showed you how to do this part already. All right. I already showed you how to do the chain man part of it. I'm going to show you how to do the hop back real quick. So say the ball is in my left hand. Hold R2. You need to have Pro 2 hop jumper on for this. All right, hold R2 and flick diagonally down. Hold diagonally down, I should say. All right? Hold it for a good second. All right? And it's going to give you that little hop back right there. Now, if you're right handed, to get that animation, you're going to have to go in the right hand and you're going to have to go, you know, diagonally down to the left. This little glitchy combo right here, nutmeg. And you can hit the Ezzy with it, right? All right, so to do the nutmeg. I show y'all that I have Dame Lillard behind the back on. When you run down and you do a behind the back like this, to do a behind the back, you just saw how to do it. Just you don't even have to sprint anymore, right? Run down the court and go diagonally down to the right. If the ball is in your left hand, go diagonally down to the right on the right stick. Boom, right? If you go straight down, it's gonna give you this. So don't go straight down, right? Whatever hand the ball is in, go diagonally down the opposite way with the right stick. But you don't want to let the animation play out. So as soon as you go diagonally down with the right stick, flick up with the right stick. All right, and it's gonna give you that right there, watch. Boom. And that's gonna start your glitchy combos right there, right? So you wanna do that? Now do the basic one spin back.
I've pretty much showed you all my drill moves that I do. Most people in the stage do these moves. 99% of guards in the stage you'll see do these moves. I'm gonna probably be dropping the next gen version of this on the second channel if I do end up doing the next gen version because it's pretty much the same drill. Anyways, big up on yourself and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hold on, bullet. There you have it. Every single move that I do and every single move you will see in the stage nine times out of 10. There are other moves out there, but moves that I really don't have in my arsenal yet. Once I do put them in my arsenal, I'll teach it to y'all. Anyways, big up on myself, big up Lord Almighty. Rose can't do nothing. Uh, just want to don't know what's in guy ready. Yard man gaming. Done.